Welcome back, bounty hunters, and it's time to do uh, a World War II bounties or something like that. As you'd know, surviving the apocalypse is like, if, if you're not stylish, then you know, are you really surviving in the, living is a really a poor qualification for surviving in the apocalypse. Really, it's about having cool stuff, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. First, let's read the hint. The Go Bag is back bigger than ever. In August, the Go Bag pack, last seen in March, returns to the game. We're bringing back all nine weapons from that pack, plus three brand new items that you can earn by completing bounties. At that time, the Pawn Shop pack will be retired from active circulation. Remember that you keep anything you already own, but you can acquire more. So that's what we know is coming up next. What's going away? Pawn Shop pack. What was in the Pawn Shop pack? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I honestly don't know how good the Guandao is, so I might have to take a look at that. Um, non-complete. Yep, so, uh, this might be the only weapon that really stands out, but I'll have to double check. You know, some of them might be good, but let's take a look. Okay, so what can we stack up? Screamers with explosives. Dr ooh, driving 10 kilometers, jeez. Uh, 15 zombies. Ooh, that's an easy one. Um, recruit two losers. Hmm. Um, a juggernaut with heavy weapons. Okay, we could do this one immediately. 440... Oh, let's actually... install. What do I have more of in resources? I have plenty of parts, so let's go over here and uninstall that and put in the... Gra oh, I think it's lagging. The bolt crafting tool set. While that's installing, we can, you know, continue browsing our bounties. Um... 250 zombies with assault weapons. Seven, oh man, plague zombies. I don't have any plague guards in this one. Bloaters with pistols. Wow, some of these are going to be a bit lengthy. So let's do zombies in close easy, combat. That's an easy one. Faith in you. Screamers with explosives. Juggernauts with heavy weapons. Okay, what about recruiting survivors? Like, let me see the community members we got on our map. They're friendly, friendly, ally, we, that's one. Do I have a second ally? Um, Greetings. oh man, I, I, okay, I feel like we can do that kind of whenever we want. So let's not do that one just yet. Uh, what's another, a juggernaut? It might be hard to find a juggernaut, that's part of the problem. Um, screamers with explosives it is. Okay, let's see. When is this going to install? I don't actually want to leave this area because I think we can get all of the bolts crafted while we're here. Hello, my friend. So, it looks like... Oh, looks like it's lagging. There we go. So, 15 zombies. I mean, I could actually do that right now by just de-equipping this. Oh, never mind. Bolt crafting enabled. So, let's go ahead and go here. And with the bolt crafting tool set, we're going to make uh, 50, 45 light bolts at once. There we go. Yeah, that's going to be... Let's start mass producing some bolts, boys. There we go. So one thing that I wish... You see how when I click this, it kicks me back to the screen? I wish it didn't do that. I want to just sit here and just be able to mash the A button and build as many bolts as I want. Oh, we got a ways to go. Let's build some more. Instead of having to do what I'm doing right now and just have to constantly go through the process. Oh, and the reason we're doing light bolts is because for the same price, we get 15 more. So it's just a little bit easier. Almost there. Throw that in and uh, maybe two more. There we go. Hello there. Would you mind taking on something? So we just got our hands on the MP40. Yep, MP40. Um, looks like it's stuck on automatic fire. Shoots uh, nine millimeter rounds. So uh, the fact that it's stuck on automatic fire means I'm probably not going to like it because it means it's going to waste a lot of ammo using it. So let's see, what else are we going to pick up? Um, you know what? Let's just stab some zombies real quick. Just fifteen of them. That's that's like nothing. Let me get my pyro launcher back. Hopefully, the rear execution counts. It does, so let's just go ahead. And even though this is not a close combat 
specialized character. That, that, that hardly matters. Not a big deal in the slightest. We can just go, uh, stibbity stabby on these guys, just like that. If you're new to the game, this is actually a pretty good way to preserve a weapon durability in a fresh start, if you're worried about it. You know what? You need a lot if you get help from friends of ours. This one is urgent. Oh, well, if it's not more urgent than my bounties, then I'm afraid you're gonna get ignored. But yeah, if you're, if you're brand new to the game and you're just looking to save a bit of durability, you can do that because uh, I just remembered I can have my weapon equipped and it will still do it. The rear the rear grab and execution, even with a main melee weapon equipped, you will still use your knife and your knife does not have durability. It has infinite durability or no durability, whichever way you would like to describe it. I wonder if stealth kills work. Yes, stealth kills count. Oh, even better. And this character is a stealth character, so even easier. There we go. So that's another example, but let me go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll get out of stealth. You see a screamer. Ooh, don't we need to blow up a screamer? So I'll do this one here. Oh, wait. That's right. So I can't do it with a, um, a bladed weapon because of... Swordplay! When maxed out, you get the execute standing zombies with a blade, so that one I actually can't do, so that was not true. Where did those... Got a screamer right there. Let me mark it on the map for now. I wonder if the pyro launcher will count as a explosive kill, because... If memory serves, and it might not, you know, this is one of those fine details. Uh, explosive, I believe the impact of the Pyro Lodger does count as an explosive attack. But otherwise, uh, what would I use? Um, Grenade Launcher is always an option. And I do love pulling out the Grenade Launcher. It's, it's a weapon that I very rarely use, but oh man. In fact, the Grenade Launcher is pretty much a weapon I only use when doing bounties. So I might just do that. Screamers are going to be way easier to get on Nightmare Zone, specifically because they can appear in groups of three. Which is why, generally speaking, Nightmare Zone is going to be the best place to do bounties, with some exceptions. Oh, one of the exceptions being if you are not, if you're not at the skill level yet to handle Nightmare Zone, then obviously it would be a terrible idea. But if you are at the skill level to do Nightmare Zone, then it can be a great idea. And one more, and we'll claim another bounty. Making good time. The end of it, boys! Um, over here. I'm sure the Screamer will remain on our radar once we've re now that we've revealed it. So it's, it shouldn't even be a big deal. No, I don't even care about if the zombies see me or not. Oh, that's a feral, though. Yeah, I don't think the feral will notice me since I'm in stealth. I could just sprint Aroni away. Do you hear how loud that feral was, despite the fact that it's pretty far away from me? That's one thing that you definitely want to know about ferals, is that their the loudness of their voice can be a bit deceptive. I'm not saying that if you hear a feral, you should be like, nah. Yeah, whatever. It just means that it might not be as close to you as you think it is. Or it could be very close. But if the if the voice is really faint sounding, then you should know it's pretty far away. Alrighty. Let's turn this bounty in and see what else we can do. I'm dead on my fucking feet here. What a complainer. Alrighty, we get bounties. a shovel. What is this? The antique German trench tool. Okay. How? Uh, what are the stats on it? It is. Ooh, very fast. Very high. Very high durability. That makes sense. You know, shovels. I would expect to have high durability. Easy use is decent, but damage is not super great. It's um very similar to the other shovel, actually. It's. You know, to be honest, it might not be 
it's not an amazing weapon, but it could be a weapon that you mainly focus on doing, like, the grab executions on. But it might not be a bad weapon, either. So what other bounty? So we, what we have here is the Screamer, 15 Screamers with the explosives. Um... Bloaters are pretty common. Let's do bloaters, I think. And... Do I want to pick this one up to start? Yeah, I think I do. Let's get this one kind of just ticking downwards. And I am going to go... Where's my nearest outpost? So we've got... We might want to let this grow a bit. There's only one infestation there. When did I get hostile enemies? Hostile guys. Okay, let's go back to base and re-equip. Mackie is kind of my designated bounty busting guy because he has... Driving. Driving is really nice because it makes your fuel consumption quite a bit less, means your vehicles take less damage, and, you know, you have to do a lot of... Ooh, look all these screamers. I'm gonna leave them there, because we might need them. I did reveal them, though, on the map, so we now know that there are some screamers there. And yes, I am using... Some of you may wonder, where did I get this crazy purple car? This is the Megalodon from the, the Plunder Pack, so... While you're doing these bounties, if you have not done the, uh, the one for the Megalodon in the... Oh, there we go. Hit the brakes just in time to not hit that too hard. You could get yourself, uh, your hands on this vehicle, which is... I like it. You know, it's definitely not the best vehicle, but it's not... Oh, here's the wizard van, by the way. So, uh, the wizard van is gone now. You can see it's the wizard van because it's got... We all have to do our part, right? A wizard. It's gone. I, I don't know if it's coming back. It might come back. But, uh, yeah, if you don't have it now, it's unfortunately too late. You're an asshole once, and then I'm done. So let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. Let's put this on. Actually, let's continue using that just because it's one of the new bounty weapons. So I need the grenade launcher, the G-nade launcher. Oh, let me go ahead and replace this with the heavy weapons thingy. Where is the heavy weapons thingy? Uh, rifles. Heavy duty. There we go. So that's installing, and now we need to go fetch the grenade launcher, which is probably at the very bottom of the list. Oh my god, they so need a favorites tab. Um, that's too far down. Grenade launcher, here it is, the BML-40. Never use, this, this gun never gets any use, but... Never is... Now you can't say never. It's gonna get some use. Which pistol do I want to use? Uh, let me use another fancy pistol that I... I'm actually not a big fan of it, but I'm gonna use it anyways. Uh, where is it? You know what? I'm, I'm having too much trouble finding it. I'm just gonna go and use the sleeper cell. And let's go ahead and give it the proper treatment of being the sleeper cell. We have to make sure we're actually... Oh, wait, wait. I see it right there. There it is. The Echo S6. So I actually don't like this pistol, even though it has an integrated silencer. That's because it doesn't have a scope, so you can't zoom in. And if you don't have a scope, then I probably don't like you as a weapon. Probably think you are super smelly. This thing is only half installed, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. We can still get stuff done, boys. We can still do it. We got our stuff there. We're repaired. Looks like it's in good condition. Let's go back... These are where I believe we had our Screamer Horde. And away we go. Wait, you know what? I should probably bring the Pyro Launcher in case something really dumb happens. You know, like, I'm telling you, like, don't don't scrap your Pyro Launchers. Don't put, don't put them away. Don't sell them just because the... Uh, oh, I can put these in now. Let me do that real fast. Don't put them away just because, like, they're not as good against... They're not good against Play Guards now, like... They did not need to be good. They, they could do zero damage to Plague Hearts, and they would still be an overpowered weapon. Like, the Plague Hearts are just a bonus. Oh, you may wonder, why am I not in Drucker County? It's because I'm currently recording footage here for my new base review. That is why I'm here. And where's the ammo? Because we are at... Uh, what is this base called? Weston Builder Supply, also known as the Fenced Warehouse. And that's what I'm recording video footage here for the next video review. Oh, we got a bloater right there. So there's our first target.
Uh-oh, I think I made a mistake. I don't have the BML with me. It's because of that new mechanic in the game. Specifically, I'm referring to the, um... When you switch weapons now, with the, with the X button, it causes you to swap the weapon out and put it back in, and I'm still not used to that, so we gotta go fetch the BML, which is all the way- the, this, this grenade launcher doesn't count, that's the gas launcher, if you're wondering. You're like, what about that grenade launcher at the very top? Well, that grenade launcher is- only shoots the gas grenades, and so that- that's not going to do the trick. So what I gotta do is push the A button, which is probably fine, because I bet the- the weapon is now- where is- where did you go, BML? You, did I misplace you somewhere? Where did the BML go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this should be plugged in. And so what we could do now is just make some ammo while we're here. Good thing we built bolts, because these are expensive. These cost six... Six, a six ammo supply each. It's pri bit pricey. Okay, where's the ammo at? Right there. Gimme. Now, the good thing about the BML is that... It has a pretty high capacity. Like, right now, it's got five grenades in the magazine. Well, once we reload it... Got 12 in, so it actually consumes quite a bit of inventory. It, it saves a lot of inventory by... ...putting more grenades in the launcher than... Really? You guys are just trying to screw with me, aren't you? I'll get rid of this one, and then I'll just get it. And go over here to get those, uh, whatever those guys are that we are missing. I think they were Screamers, and if they're Screamers, then I'm going to need the BML. It's so over, it's so expensive to use the BML on it, but like, what does it really matter at this point in the game? You know, when you're at this point of the game, Massive wastes. Massive excesses do not really matter. There's one right over there. Yes! Oh, get off me. You guys are jerks. Tried to have fun and you guys are like, I want to take a piece out of you! Oh no, it's your only weakness. It's... It's fences. Yeah, thank you. I need to reload. Oh no. Fences. The zombie's only weakness. Climbing over objects. No, no, you're not allowed on. Goodbye. I said goodbye. There we go. Got rid of him. Oh, uh, let's see. Where are we going next? Ooh. A single streamer that I want to... Oh, wait. I see another one. Let me introduce you to a grenade! Have a grenade! There we go. So we're up to 6 out of 15, so a little under half. Ah, oh, this thing takes forever to reload. Let's not even worry about it. It's got plenty of... That looks like a bloater sunbathing. Let's go ahead and switch. But this is the kind of weapon that you'd expect someone like Chris Redfield to use. Like this kind of pistol. Okay. Did I reveal anything else of interest on the map? Oh, what about over here? Ah, I kind of wish these infestations were a little... You know, you know, when you don't need it... Ooh. Ooh. God, 45 bloaters? Are you kidding me? Forty-five bloaters, that is more- oh, I see one. Ugh. Who needs the scope? I do. I, I really do need the scope. I would really enjoy- You're not- the Wow, that, that sure looked like the handle of the- of the- of the shovel, not exactly the blade edge, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so where else can we go in search of- Another 40, 39 bloaters to go, boys. You know, that, that'll be 
AO good. It's gonna. It's not even a big deal. Where can we find some stuff? Just taking a stroll through the old countryside. You know, those infestations, they're never, they're always here when you don't need them, and then when you do need them, they're like, nah, nah, we're just a single infestation with only one screamer in it. Um, this looks safe enough to go down. Oh, there's a the juggernaut. Oh, I bumped into that. That's not good. Okay, so... What? Uh, I can leave them there for now. We we should have marked and revealed them on the... Yeah, we revealed them on the radar, which means... Oh, those guys just totally popped in. And that's fine, because that means we can come back to... Now that we know where a juggernaut is, we can come back to it. Wow, look at him. You still know where I am, wow. Well, since he's here, let's go get rid of him. Where is the bounty broker? No, that's not the bounty broker, that's the foragers. This is the bounty broker. Oh, you're trying to get me, but you're too slow. Um, where is the bounty broker? How do I get there? There's a giant wall of rocks in my way. How dare you inconvenience me, game. This game is supposed to be convenient. That's what all the recent updates have been about. You're inconveniencing me. I want to be able to just drive right through mountains. That's what I want. What we'll do is we'll drop the... We'll temporarily suspend the driving one. Because, I mean, we're, we're actually making good time. Two kilometers actually doesn't seem like it's going to be that big of a deal. I know you guys were disappointed that they didn't include a tank in the game, but... I mean, come on. Tank... Let this guy jump on, and then just squish him off. Oh, that tree didn't count? There we go. Let him get on this side. There we go. That's the good old way to get rid of those ferals. I know some people think it's cheap, but, you know, hey. You know, uh, there has to be a way to get him off the car. Wow, really? Okay, okay, oh, oh, look at the, the acceleration actually made it through there, okay. Okay, I see, game. that's not bad. Thought that was a bloater at first, but that is just the remains of a zombie that hasn't despawned. Okay. I'm sorry, Cash Beaumont, but I've got to, you know, make a, I need a refund on this, so that I could get this. An excellent choice. I'm sure you say that to all your customers. Okay, so I don't have a, an outpost nearby, so I'm about to go fetch me a heavy weapon back at base. Fine, be that way. And what I'll probably do is weaken the Juggernaut with some grenades, and then I will bash his head in with a heavy weapon, even though this is not a, this guy doesn't have powerhouse, that should not matter. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't even be a thing. Make sure I'm not driving in, like, off a cliff or something. Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa. Not used to these new driving mechanics. They're slightly different. The, the car feels a little more slippery. People are saying their cars are going crazy. Uh, I guess we'll find out in the future. Oh, wait, I'm not trying to deposit anything. I'm actually trying to gain something. And the thing I'm trying to gain? Heavy weapon. What heavy weapon shall we use? Let's use... Big Wrench. No, no, let's use the Hog Split. No, let's use the Guandale. And look at all the stuff you can carry because of what backpacking. It's like... Heavy weapon. This is basically a heavy weapon. This is a 24 pound heavy weapon. Like, I got this and another melee weapon. Backpacking, boys. Okay, let's go get that Juggernaut. The Juggernaut! I'm the Juggernaut! Man, that's an old meme. I think that was like a meme before people were even calling them memes. 
or like they might have been known as memes on like 4chan and 8chan, but it hadn't become like a mainstream term yet. Hopefully the grenade launcher doesn't overkill the juggernaut. Like it is possible. I'm hoping to shoot it until it falls to its knees and then beat it up. But there's always a possibility that it will just kill it outright. That would be unfortunate. That would make me sad. My, yeah, I don't need this one. Get this one. One, two, three, four. Oh man, it, that was what I was worried about. I was worried it would overkill him. That's unfortunate. I need a place to change weapons. So I'm gonna lure him over here and there we go. Oh no! Something you have to climb over! No! Okay, back to Cash Beaumont. Okay, ah, let's just blow this up while we're here. Now, fortunately, this vehicle I can whip pretty nicely, so we can get that off of us. Okay, so now we know next time we do it, we'll have to hit him three times and then we'll have to finish him off. Ah, oh, a new infestation. And this one also became a infestation of two, which is better. Come on, where's the screamer at? Ow. Nope, can't grab me while I'm in the combat sink. There we go. Oh, wow. They're just like... Action-packed zombies. They're just like jumping out of the roofs. Out of the, uh, jumping off of the windows on top. Yeah, I'm guessing they're inside and they don't want to come out. Gotta be quieter. This is gonna stink. Oh, here we go. I thought I was gonna blow myself up in the process. I am gonna blow myself up in the process. Using a grenade launcher indoors is... not typically advisable. Unless he comes forward a little bit. Come on! Yep. Wow, not a lot of the zombies answered the call, did they? There he is. Kablamma blamma bamma. Well, overall, that little detour paid off because. Uh, it caused. It, it was enough time for another one of them to appear. Another. Another streamer appears. Stamina! Stamina! Oh no! Okay, now we'll just get in, and then we'll whip these guys off our car. Like that! Oh, they got my door, that's not good. The door is gone, meaning this vehicle is no longer safe. Can't be driving around in an unsafe- don't, Never drive without your car door. Gotta find a place to put the door back on. Uh, ooh. Go back to base. Seems like a good idea to me. Back up a little bit. So one of the things Driver does is... It makes you quiet. It makes your vehicle quieter. The engine doesn't make as much noise, so it's much easier to find a safe place to kind of do what you need to do. Which kind of sounds like taking a poop. Gotta do, gotta take care of business. Gotta do what you need to do. Take a big old mega deuce. How are we doing so far? Oh, well, you know what? Let's head back to Cash Beaumont and... Actually, let's blow these guys up first. Then we'll head back to Cash Beaumont. Yeah, ah, let's do it. Nah, let's do it this way. Like, there'll be plenty of time to drive around and eventually unlock that. 10 kilometers wound up not being really all that way. We're already up to like three. So we'll blow this infestation up. And I will generate more infestations by waiting out the nighttime in between episodes. That'll give it time for, you know, an infestation to pop up or two. So that'll be even better. Oh man, why are there all these rocks here? I'm, I'm so inconvenienced. There we go. How many grenades do I? I got six grenades left. 
which is more than enough. I will blow him up through the wall. There we go. You know what? If I don't clear the infestation completely, the, uh, the, the, the screamers might come back. In fact, they might actually grow to two screamers. Hmm. Hmm. Sling him off. Let's go to Cash Beaumont. And also, I will do any missions that appear. Any missions that will raise our guys to friendly or to allied status so we can just recruit two people real fast. And then probably rob them and kick them out. You know, that's that's typically how Fox does business, you know. Hey, we got good stuff for trade. Come and get it. You got... I, I seriously doubt that, but... I might, I might, I might be interested. Not entirely sure. Oh, got zombies blocking the way. Spooner Hill. I don't remember the names of any of these areas. It's like none of the areas are like I, I never use the names of like the counties or anything to like to navigate. Just not an important issue. Okay, so. Let's see how we're doing, boys. Let's mm, abandon the Juggernaut one for now, uh, which is this one. And we will put on this one again. So, you know what? For the first episode, that's not bad. We're over halfway done with that. You know, the bloater one, that's going to take a little while. I'm not going to lie. Mainly because you have to find them. And we're playing on Nightmare Zone, so this is our best chance to get them. Oh, we missed one over there. But... I don't even know. But we'll get to it eventually, though. That's going to be the end of this, Bounty Hunters, though. It's, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Get some weapons. And when I'm done with this, I will get the weapons out. I'll try them out, and I will make a new review on the new Bounty weapons, the World War II pack. And then I will also review the pack that's leaving, and so that you know that's the one that's going to be going. So you have a limited time to get those, or the time is running out, rather. And I'll tell you which ones I think are worth getting. But, hey... Welcome to Update 19, boys. That's going to be the end of that. Like this video, feel free to subscribe for future State of Decay 2 content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.